Hello again, this is uh, Power BI training with Muhammad Barada. I'm glad to show you again more uh, training videos about Power BI. So today we are going to see a very important case when you have a sales, uh, a lot of sales uh, values, sales orders, the, and these sales orders, they are by salesperson. So at the, you would like to sum these, to, to, to have the summarize of these sales per month, then you want to, to show a ranking for each employee for their sales uh, revenues per month. So this is very important how to see this in Power BI. Watch me and let me know if it is going to be a nice uh, training by just adding your comment and subscribe to my channel. So first I have this here, sales orders, and I have a date, number, amount, amount including that, if you have a tax and they have a sales person, this is the first sheet. I have another sheet, Excel sheet, inside which I have the code of salesperson and the name of salesperson. And I have also the ranking. So the ranking of uh, the monthly ranking name is gonna be based on the value between the sales. If there is a sales from zero to 50,000, it's gonna be normal achiever, 50,000 one, 100, a good achiever, more than 100K is gonna be excellent achiever. So we are going to show the ranking of each employee. So what we have to do, we close our sheets just to make sure that we don't have any problem when connecting to Power BI. So I'm gonna to go to Power BI, okay? I get data, so this is Power BI desktop that I'm going to use. I'm gonna click on Power, get data from Excel. So I'm gonna bring the first sheet, sales order with salesperson. Okay, and uh, if I would like to change, you can always transform data if you would like to change anything within the Excel sheets. So uh, I'm gonna just show you uh, first there is, uh, I'm gonna load both, then click on transform just to make sure that I, I work on these Excel sheets once. So you see here, I have the salesperson sheets. This is because it is, brought from Dynamics, uh, Dynamics ERP, but I have all my data. I have this line that I would like to remove row here. So I click on transform data just to make sure that I'm, uh, I, will, I will be able to remove this row. So I have to, as you see, this is gonna be very easy. I select this row, okay, and row, remove row, remove top rows, and I will specify that I would like to remove only one, one top row from the so number of rows here, it's gonna be one, click okay. So I remove the top row, then I, I would like to specify that this first row is gonna be my header. So I click here, use first row as a header. You will see that the first row is gonna be taken as a header. So I make sure that the amount that I have are numbers. Yes, they are decimal, it's perfect. The date is a date. So it's very important to make sure that the date, posting date is taken as date. All others are correctly uh, done. And I have a salesperson, it is ABC, so it's a number. So this, the first uh, Excel sheet is entered properly. I can click from here, new Excel. I can uh, directly import the Excel sheet here. So I have a salesperson, so this is my second sheet I have my second Excel document, I will take two sheets from this document. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's very easy, just I select the Excel sheets that I would like to import. I need both of them. I have the uh, salespeople, so I would like this sheet and I would like also the salespeople ranking. So this one that I'd like to add it here. I'm gonna show you in the next videos, maybe later, like how you can add this table. You can do it directly from Power BI if you don't want to bring it from Excel. So now I have here salesperson is good. The salespeople, I also need to remove this first row. So I, I remove top rows and I specify one and I make the first row as a header. So now you see all the steps done on your sheets are saved here. So you, whenever you, refresh your data, it will bring all data from there, again, refreshed, and it applies the steps that you have made here directly on, this, uh, on the sheet. So now I have all my sheets are here. Uh, I, I, I have the data that I would like to work with it. 
So the first, because I have all my sales, I have my sales people. I would like now to link my tables properly because I need to show sales person name. I would like to, uh, to link the sales person with the sales orders table. So this is why next step usually it's always uh, the, if you take the considered sequence of importance of steps, first you load your data, you transform data, you load it, then you go to model. Before you start doing anything, you have to go to model. So here I have my tables. I have the sales people, okay? It's gonna be linked to, to what? To salesperson code. So his sales people code, it's gonna be linked to salesperson. So I click here and drag, keep my mouse clicked and drag it so it will show you there is here one too many which is correct because one salesperson might have different sales orders so this is the only link that can be done now based on my data so now the next step in order to be able to show my data in a summary uh, okay usually if i would like to show this uh, sales by uh, by employee by salesperson a uh, sum by amount, amount by by months I can do it, but I would like to to show the rank for employee per month. This is cannot be done by just uh, using this using the report. So what I will do now first because I would like to to do my analysis on the total amount. So I have to create a new measure, okay, which is the new measure here. It's gonna be the sum of the total amount, okay. So because I'm going to call it total sales. OK, so uh, it will open here. We will create here. It's a DAX okay, uh, coding. So total sales, OK, it is a sum of, of what? The sales person amount. So what I'm doing here, I added a new measure inside the sales order table, which is going to make the total of the sales, because this total, I'm going to use it to do my uh, analysis what is the rank of employee uh, salesperson per month i'm going to show you now so the next step is to i need to create a summarized table do you know how do you do this it's going to be very easy i click on new table okay so it's open also my dax here so the new table i'm going to call this sales summary so this is my sales summary table it's going to be summarized. I'm going to use the summarize function. So when you click on summarize, usually you have to specify which table and what are the groups that you are going to apply on, on this table. So here I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, summarize the sales order with per salesperson table. So this one, this is the summary, summarize. I specify the table first. Then now I have to, a group by, you see here, it show me board the group by column. So I'm gonna summarize this sales amount by what? By first, I'm gonna summarize it by salesperson ID. Okay, then I'm gonna also summarize it by posting date per month because I, I would like to do my analysis based on the months. Okay, so I'm gonna group by salesperson by months I'm gonna do what exactly? So I'm gonna, I need the, the sum of total sales. So I'm gonna add here total sales column. Okay, it's gonna consider total sales. See here, I have this measure inside in front of me. So I have now the table, you will see, I, I click summarize, I specified, I'm summarizing which table, what are the column group by what? So I'm gonna do the summary by salesperson by months, okay? And and I'm gonna use the total sales from the measure, which is the total amount with VAT showing for each salesperson. You see here, great, great uh, functionality of Power BI. I have by salesperson total sales per month. So now. The next step is I have the ranking. I know that if the salesperson he sold from zero to 50, uh, he's gonna be no more achiever if from 51. So uh, how I'm gonna add here achiever, okay? So how I'm gonna use the ranking here, it's not gonna be very tough. It's very easy, you will see. I will add a new column. Okay guys, I click on new column under the sales summary. 
So now I'm gonna use it, the monthly ranking. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be for each month, I'm gonna see uh, for the salesperson, the total sales amount and his rank, if he's good achiever or uh, excellent or normal achiever. So I'm gonna use calculate function. This calculate is important, sorry. So uh, now first I'm gonna use calculate. Then inside it, I will use something called first non-blank. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, uh, retrieve from the sales person rank uh, the, the, the right choice based on the total sales of the sales person. So what I, in order to do this, I will tell that I need the first non-blank value from where? From the sales ranking, sales ranking, ranking name, okay? So this, I'm gonna use the first, so I'm gonna return the first non-blank value from the sales per person ranking table. Okay, I can put here one. So now the expression, from which expression? So I need, I need to apply filter. So because you see here, when you click on the first, uh, uh, first non-blank, you have to add filter for it. So, so I click filter. So what's gonna be my filter here? Okay, the filter is gonna be where the uh, it's gonna be on sales ranking table, okay? So where, what? So you see here the filter, when you add this, you see I have expression, okay? To calculate on the fil for the filter part, when you add it, you have table and the filter expression. So I specify the table, then the filter expression. What is the filter expression? I'm gonna use for the filter, where salesperson ranking from, or so let's say the sales summary total sales, where sales total sales of the salesperson total sales is greater or equal from what? From the sales ranking from, value from, okay? I can add and sales summary total sales, it's gonna be less or equal than salesperson ranking two. So what I'm telling here, please go to salesperson ranking, give me the first, non-blank value, okay, for ranking name, where the total sales of the salesperson is greater than the from value of ranking and less than value two. So between the value from and value two, it, it will give me the ranking, the first ranking name. So now I close this, okay, so I finish my filter, I finish my non-blank, calculate. So I have now added a new monthly ranking column, you see here, I'm gonna check why I have this error. You see here, normal achiever, because he's selling between 28K. Good achiever, he's selling 86K. Excellent achiever is when it is exceeding 100. If I go to salesperson ranking, you see here between zero to 50, it's good. 50 to 100K, it's gonna be good. The zero to 50K, normal achiever. So if I go back to sales summary, I see that 28 is the normal, 86 is good. So it's very easy. I hope you like it. It's gonna be quick. So it's very easy to be done. Just add a table, summarize from the salesperson with uh, sales order with salesperson table. Then you have to add a, a column or custom column called monthly ranking, which is calculate the first non-blank and you apply the filter on the salesperson ranking table. So you take, from the salesperson ranking table, the first value having this filter here that you see on the screen. I hope you like it now. Once you have this sales summary, you can come and you can add here the salesperson number and sales, the months, so total sales and the monthly ranking. So you see here, I have, uh, I can see for each month, okay. It's not gonna, not gonna be show the value. So it's very important to show as a matrix, okay? So I'm gonna see for by in the rows, I see salesperson and the values I see, not the month number. Okay, so it's good to show the total sales. I can see the total sales, this one. So it show me for each month, okay, the total sales. I can also copy paste this, matrix and i can add here in place of the total sales i can add the monthly ranking okay
Okay, so I can see that for each month, if I have good achievement, if I would like to have the salesperson name, because I have this, I, I made the relationship, I need to make the relationship between sales summary and sales people. Because if I add here now, in place of salesperson code, if I add here the sales name people, it's not gonna work. Why? Because I don't have, I don't have relationship between. So what I, I will create a relationship, okay, between the sales summary table and the sales people. So it's gonna, I'm gonna edit it. I make sure that the salesperson and sales order is linked to sales code and sales people. It is one too many, exactly. So I'm gonna click okay, it's perfect. So if you see here, now it's gonna work, okay? So let me show her again, select the name here. Let me double check that it didn't take, I don't know why, I, maybe I didn't click on okay. So I will select here the code, it's gonna be equal to code. Okay, so this is the link one to many, yes, between code and sales code. Perfect. So now I can, you see, I have John Roberts, the name of the salesperson, and the same applies here to if he's a good achiever or bad achiever. I hope you like it. It's very, it's gonna be very important. I can always move this and show it as a, a visualization to change it to, to make it like uh, um, by uh, any visual trend or line chart. So I can show the access and the values. I can sh show the total sales inside the values. Okay, so you see here, I can see the total amount that it is sold. Okay, and it could be the legend by the name of the salesperson. So I can see by salesperson. I can add in order to total sales, I can see also the monthly ranking as a second sales value. So I can see also, I can add the monthly ranking inside if I want. So now inside this graph, I can see that for Peter, what is total sales? And for John Roberts, the total sales, it's gonna be by, by month, it's gonna be as, uh, as you see it here. So you can always select the proper uh, charts based on the need, but it was very important to add the sales summary and do this calculate uh, column. Okay, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, please uh, like this video and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.